Shorty tryna damage shit. I you a trapper, I ain't never seen you out. I ain't never seen you in no hoes. Still ten toes, it don't even matter if it's cold. My niggas getting it sold. I want the bread, I want the cones with the two. Fuck it, I need me a loaf. I'm in the booth with it, but to be truthfully, if I don't make it, I know where to go. Welcome to High Style Sundays. Y'all know what's going on. We down here at Dream Factory exclusive lounge and studios. You know, I got that La Boca, got some spliffy. Got that pre-flight, you know, we got all the sponsors on deck, more mm -hmm. behind the scenes. And got underrated in the building today. Gang is here. A whole, man. whole group of them in here. Man, what's going on with y'all? Shit, cool, man. Just having life. Having fun with your shit. Every day, every day, every day back in that mood grinding. One day at a time. Real. So, talk to me. How did this really, like, how, how this group form? How does you know, how y'all come together? You know, I know y'all all in the pet, you know, mm -hmm. individual artists. Mm -hmm. How do y'all come together and say, let's all join that underrated name? Everybody, you know, it started off. I started, I started off just right with just me for real. You know what I mean? So it was like the name underrated. It just it's self-explanatory for real. Google it. Look up the definition. You know what the, the real meaning of it is for real. And everybody that's with me. Anybody that I fuck with on the music tip, I feel like they underrated. So that's how I really came together. Like all my niggas hard. I ain't even being biased. Like this is real shit, for real. Okay, okay. I like them against anybody. And who's the um, who's the newest member to your group right now? Young yeah. boy, cute bad, man. How'd you get involved? Yeah, for real, for real. I've been on, been on since I was like like nine, ten, for real. But like. I ain't really wasn't rapping or nothing like that. So I just started rapping like, like going on two years now. Okay. So yeah, I started rapping and now he picked me up for real. Yeah, I've I been knowing him since he was younger. Like, I don't know how old he was. He was like young. Nine, nine. How old you is now, Q Bad? Six, He was like nine. So I've been knowing him. So like, when I seen he was rapping, it was just like a no brainer for like, oh, that's my little man. And he, then he was hard though. Like, I started sending his yeah. clips to them. Like, he, he was hard. Like, yeah, I got I got ear for that shit for real, bro. For real. Yeah. And uh, what got you started rapping now? I've been knew how I rap, but like, I ain't never really wanted to do that. Like, that wasn't nothing I wanted to do for real. Right. Like, I knew how to, like, put a couple words together and all that, but I ain't want to do that for real. So then, now I was talking to my minds. Like, we, we playing a game. Let's lay that night. You playing a game. Like, I'm like, I hear this beat. I'm like, oh, I want to rap this for real. He like, you bluffing like you want some shit like that. Real for real, supposed to be my other man's rapping. Like, we used to be outside on a freestyle tip, just rapping and shit, but he was hard. So I'm like, hey, you take it serious. But then I started like, hands some shit. I'm like, nah, I want to do something real quick. So I actually wrote a song to it. Okay. Then I rapped it to uh, my sister. And she was like, well, that's hard. And I rapped it in my man's and all that. It was like, oh, yeah, you got to record that and all that. But I was still bluffing though. So then, I finally, I don't know what made me want to go to the studio. I finally, but the session went in there, recorded my first song. Yeah, it just like, man, I need this. I feel like this, but I need to be it. So I did that. And that's how it started. Real yeah. shit. You think you're on the right path now? Yeah. yeah. Working. Yeah. Oh. I perfect my craft for real. Oh, yeah. What about the rest of you guys? You guys feel like y'all on the right path of your career so yeah. far? Yeah. That's the best. I ain't gonna lie. Be honest, it's the best I've thought in a long time. Like twenty seven days, okay. Like, like oh, this yeah. shit will be good. We meant like, like we've been playing with this shit for so long, right? We've been playing with this shit for so long, so it's like we know like we know what we can do when we know like people really respect this for real. Just like after like this is how we carry ourselves, like we don't be in a way but we stand on business too. So like we got love for real, but we can't be taking this shit for granted because there's a lot of people that's rapping in the city. Like, like a lot of people rapping right now, so like see anybody just take the spot. So we gotta go hard this time. We ain't gonna play this time. And now, what sets you guys apart? You know, what sets the underrated camp apart from everybody else out here? It's just us. Like we don't, oh, we don't be like we ain't cussing here. Yeah, yeah, we don't yeah. dick ride. It's just us for real. That's what set is number one. Like if if you fucking with us, we gonna fuck with you, but. If they ain't fuck with us, it ain't no pressure. We just do us. They ain't fuck with us, yeah, fuck. Yeah. We just do us, for real. Okay, okay, okay. And now, what's your, like, individually, what's your biggest motivation? Or what, you know, that keeps you going? 
where we came from. Who, who we lost. Who we a lot lost. of shit. You know, like, people counting on us. People there, and that's yeah. real. That's that's law too. Yeah, yeah. People depend on us right now. Like we stop. Like if, bro, when, if we really get where we need to go at, we can change a lot of people's lives. Yeah. For real. And now, Chris, I know you probably you know the longest you when we started this. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I remember back when scooters were alive. You know. Yeah. You know, scooter, you did your thing back then as well, and you still is. So explain to people what it means to now have a team around you. Start coming from where you came from. Man, I feel like you stronger with the team. Like you strong with the team for real. Like I be good on my own for real. But like if I stop, and then it's just gonna be like, what the fuck is bro doing? But if I got the team right, I can. I can. If my niggas got a video shoot. I can be right there with them, you feel me? So it's like, my team, when I'm, when I'm slacking, my niggas gonna pick me up. For real. And how do y'all feel, you know, mixing with other artists, you know, if Ty has a feature with somebody, is that, yeah. you know, how's that work for everybody? Man, we just tell them, treat the song like it's yours. That's, that's how we yeah, approach it. True. Like when we get on them beats, like, we get on them bitches like they else, like represent, like just hold it down for us. When he on there, Dre on there, I'm on there. Q. We all on there. One of us on there, we all on there. Feel me? Real. And I know there's people who probably like, you know, there's younger artists that actually look up to most of y'all, you know, it's not mm-hmm. everybody. And they're wondering like, how can I be a part of that? Or what does it take, you know, to be a part of that? Or even have something mm-hmm. you guys have, have art, you know? Yeah. I'm not on loud that, though, bro. Like it's like we not really like like we not rappers, bro. Like we family, bro. Okay. And like without this rapping shit, these my brothers. That's how we carry it, bro. So it's like you really just can't get with. It's not saying like we better than nobody, but like we don't really want nobody around because we just built on loyalty. We we trust what we got right now. We don't need no new niggas. So what do you think it'll take to take you guys to that next level, bro? Consistency. Yeah. Keep dropping. Yeah. Stand focused. Yeah. Just stay focused. That's it. Nothing can't stop us, bro. We would just stay focused, bro. For real. And talk about the financial aspect of this. Because all individually, you know, we all have personal stuff that goes on. Yeah. And some people don't understand. Like, you paying for your studio time. You know, sometimes you pay to perform. Yeah, you won't pay that. Yeah. You know, you, you paying for this and that to get to where you are today. Yeah. And I mean, of course, some of it's the real organic free, you know, because you earn it type stuff. But what's that financial aspect like? Uh, yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, I look at it like you got to make money. I mean, spend money to make money for real. Yeah, sure. so put it in there, you come back with something. So, I ain't going to check it for nothing out of that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Definitely got to invest in your craft, though. That's rule number one that you want to make. Yeah, if you ain't want to invest in yourself, you might as well even rap. Yeah, you might as well even rap. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm saying, like it's like the videos, mm-hmm. studio time, your yeah. swag. Right. You know what I mean? You gotta keep yourself up. Um, it's just hella shit with this shit. And it's, it look easy, but it's not though for real. Like you gonna be stressed out behind this shit. Right. But like I'm saying, that's why the team make you make you stronger for real. Yeah. For real. Like if my man ain't got it, if I got it, I'm going. We gonna make sure like it get done, cause it's gonna come back to us in the end. It ain't about money all the time, you feel me? Right. You just gotta see that shit, but you gotta, you gotta train. Like, I'll be talking to these niggas, bro. I'll be talking to them, bro. Like, you gotta, like, look at that shit, like, man, it's now or never. You feel me? For real, like, cash in while you got it. Yeah. Really is open season for the, uh, especially coming out of Baltimore. Yeah. There's nobody really. People are doing it. There's, there's people doing their thing. There's really nobody that really sitting on that seat. Right. Oh, yeah. Saying that and like the music you guys have, you know, what I want to ask you all individually. So think about this: What's your favorite bar that you said so far, and why? You sound like old shit or new shit. Old it doesn't period. matter. Period. I ain't. I don't. Even, I can't even think about that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit. Like, it's 
so hard. I know you have a lot of music, but it has to be some of them, you know, something that stood out, stands out, and stays in your head. Damn, you that's said. a hard ass question. You got that's something you got to ask a fan. Like, what's his hardest ball? Cause it's like, cause, cause you say so many balls, bro. Like, oh, yeah, she I got both of them. This is my favorite. So it's yeah. like hard to pick. Cause like, so what? What do people tell you? Your, you know, their favorites. People ever tell you that's kind of hard. I think, uh, think mine probably on. I ain't gonna lie. What does? I say I be riding around Batman and bitches be wondering why I'm calling them. I be knowing they ain't me because I ain't gonna wait, but I don't have a bar for them. Yeah. I be riding around trapping and I'm hugging the block so I can't get my order down. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure that they young niggas good. I ain't trying to take a lot of skin. That's probably mine. That's probably mine. Yeah. I mean, y'all know though. That's I mean, hard though, bro. I be a couple hours thinking like, what is this? <laughs> like, my favorite. Oh, because I really listen to my shit like, dang, like, I like this one. Dad, this the one. Yeah, you know I'm saying? So I am really in the middle school. You really got, I don't know. That's hard. Bro. What's that? What's that like? That feeling like in the studio when you know you just made something hard. Yeah, now I can tell you my favorite song. I can tell you my favorite song. I can't tell you my favorite. What's your favorite song, dummy? True story. I just be smiling. Yeah, I just be smiling like damn. They gonna yeah, fail this. They, they gonna, gonna, gonna go crazy. Yeah, that's that's all I'm thinking, like, bro, <laughs> they, they feel it. That's the one. Now you can tell when that bitch come on. Like as soon as that bitch come on, you like, oh yeah, this baby be hard. Y'all have a um like a set studio studio you got? No. You go no, to or your favorite you have a favorite studio? It's Ray B this one. Yeah, yeah. See, I got one mm-hmm. too. I got you one my man. Profit. Profit. Yeah, I fuck with my man Pimp. 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 Money. Yeah. Yeah. Money. Yeah, Pimp. 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 I would have recorded 11 songs with Tay Money on House of Rest, like just straight. Like, you supposed to try to tape me in that bitch House of Rest. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> I know Cat, though. House of Rest had a box on the cover. Yeah. <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. But no, they my favorite too, though. Yeah. And is that, feeling, guys. is that feeling different, like when it's all, you know, it's all underrated in the studio? Mm-hmm. Is that different than when it's just like you and another artist or maybe you by yourself, T.R.? No, nah, of course. I mean, of course, the game, like, feel you feel like the game, but shit, we, we, like he said, we carry all that shit like it's us, like, all us together. Bro, like, for real, though, bro, like, that's how you, that's how you want to win, though, like, the Dre drop, like, when Dre just dropped his freestyle, everybody dropped freestyles, all of it, though, like, when he just drop, treat that bitch like his house. When he drop, when he shine, I shine. When I shine, he shine. When they shine, we all shine. Bro. Real shit. Like, and we ain't even gotta be present. Like right now, if Ty was in this interview by himself, he make all of us look good. He behind the camera. We a team. You feel me? No eye in this shit. So what can we, you know, hope to see coming next? I know y'all dropped some things. Recently, bro. close enough. Close enough. That's close a lot of close man. enough for the way. You see how bro said that? Bro said that like your shit that like that's his shit. You close heard enough for the way. That's me and Drake shit, but you gotta support that shit. That's all. That's how you gonna win. Close enough. Like that, like that. Bangles. I got I'm a I'm a big mic. Any, you got any, something in Gmail. You got any features on there that we should be looking for? Right there. Should we keep the surprise? <laughs> yeah. Right. Keep the surprise. <laughs> We got man, right, we're gonna keep surprised. Just though, just stay tuned, cause yeah. man, we already fucked the city up with this one. Oh, that bitch, yeah. Okay, okay, I like that, I like that. You got um, my man Cube Baby dropped the video too. You know, yeah, go ahead yeah. and talk about the video. Oh, my name out right now on YouTube. We'll tap in with that. Okay, okay. Definitely with that. The gang will never let them know. Let them like, know. Let them know where you can find all your you know videos on your um, Instagram, social media. It's just like nothing really tired. Everything. Underscore real young Dre underscore Instagram YouTube young Dre underrated underrated little Chris on everything social media YouTube everything WBQ bag on the Instagram TikTok WBQ bag one a YouTube just straight Q bag and one last thing individually. In like one word, what advice could you give to somebody, you know, that's coming up, l- listening to y'all music, trying to go in the booth, do the same thing y'all are doing? Right. What would you tell them? Shit, I say stay consistent for real. Okay. And I tell them like, 
If you want to do it, really do it. If you want to play with it, just do something else. Yeah, don't give up. I don't care who ain't fucking with it. As long as you fucking with it. Yeah, that's rule number that one. Shit. You got to stay focused. Stay yeah. like focused. Yeah, shit. I think they should only do it if they love it. Yeah. yeah. They don't love it. Got passion for that shit. Do it for yourself. If you don't do it for yourself, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. y'all got any last words, any shout outs you want to say? Yeah, keep supporting us. We got y'all. That's what y'all like. Yeah, yeah. Say. Mm-hmm. Keep your eyes open, man. Pay attention. And you said closer than it's coming, right? Close enough. Close enough, close enough close is enough coming out way. soon. Okay. The date close enough. <laughs> I'm tired of interviews. <laughs> that bitch probably be out, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Videos on the way, new music, new everything. Ty Boogie got that shit coming, my man cooking, you feel me? You know, then I got Dre, my man Dre, really, you know how he gonna come on that shit, man. Like, everybody back on that day, man. Little bro right here, little creepy rotting on shit right now. You feel me? I'm rotting on shit right now. We just rotting right now, you feel me, man? 2023, man. This shit, baby, really get real critical. <laughs> Boogie, yeah. this bitch ready get critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. yeah, yeah. Man, we I back. appreciate you. We back. We back. Straight up. I appreciate you. Talking that shit. Real shit. Um, <laughs> coming down here. Thai style Sundays. We in the Dream Factory. I right, roll up some of this Spliffy. That's, uh, Got some pre flood. Spliffy's Man, in the air. I appreciate y'all.